Hey everyone, this is Pastor Paul here with another midweek devotion. Um, you may notice from my voice, um, I don't have a cold. I just have some allergies that are acting up and making me sound weird. Uh, so um, hopefully it will get better uh, with time, but um, forgot to buy more allergy meds, so ran out this morning and this is the result. So, um, a couple of announcements as always. Uh, first off, Romans chapter 12, if you want to follow along in your own Bible. Uh, otherwise, it will be on the screen. Uh, also want to lift up the family of uh, Carolyn Rash, uh, who passed away um, last week. So, service will be this Saturday uh, at Wilderness. We're doing an outdoor service so uh, visitation will be at 9 30 actual service will be at 11. Um, from the forecast that i can see uh high of 72 and no rain so uh, hoping it'll be a, a beautiful day also if you plan on going uh, they're continuing a tradition we have here uh, with one of our crosses uh, so if you remember uh, bring some some flowers from your backyard, from uh, from the ditch, uh, from wherever, uh, and we'll have a cross that will be adorned with all those those flowers. So um, doesn't have to be fancy roses or anything like that. Just uh, anything that that looks beautiful and will bring some uh, some beauty to that space. So please continue to. To hold uh, Carolyn's family in your, your thoughts and prayers, uh, and if you feel safe doing so, uh, join us for that funeral service this Saturday. I uh, also want to give a huge thank you to everyone who helped out with our Friends Day service last Sunday. Uh, we actually had to record and have everything ready uh, a week in advance, uh, so I was pestering a lot of folks, and uh, I think it was great. Uh, when I looked, as of yesterday, when I was looking at the tally, uh, we were up to over 600 people had viewed, uh, well, over 600 views of the video. So usually we get about uh, 30 on a Sunday, so to go from 30 to, to 600, um, 20 times higher than what we usually do, uh, that was pretty significant. So, uh, also thank you to everyone from the the synod and our friends uh, who helped join us uh, in worship last Sunday. So, with that, I invite you to turn to your Bibles or turn to the screen, uh, and we'll read Romans twelve verses nine to twenty one. Paul writes, "Let love be genuine." Hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, 
give them something to drink. For by doing this you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Here ends our reading. All right, lots to unpack there. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely not one simple uh, singular thought that's going on, but uh, seems to be a whole list of instructions for for the Romans that Paul is addressing here. Uh, there's there's a lot of advice here, and uh, it can seem like it's just kind of randomly being thrown in there. Uh, but there is method to this madness uh, in that all of these things that Paul is uplifting, uh, which are, are great reminders for the Romans of his time, uh, as well as for all of us in our time. You know, these are things that we should still hold on to, that we should still remember. Um, and it's it's being, uh, I think, the, the overarching theme that I continue to get when I read through this list is that it's being authentic to the to the moment and leaving room for for God to work in that moment uh, to try and be your best uh, but also your genuine self uh, so uh, when it says to uh, let love be genuine that's how we start off. Um, don't fake it. I mean, we we fake certain things, right? You know, we might uh, fake confidence at some points uh, if we're a little bit scared, uh, but we need to lead others. Um, we might uh, pretend like like nothing's wrong, um, and sometimes the the situation calls for it, but other times. Um, really being genuine can be the most helpful thing of all. Um, for me especially, <laughs> what what sticks out here uh, is, uh, is that reminder um, not to pretend like you know more than you do. Um, there is so much that I do not know about the Bible. There is so much that I do not understand about God and God's love. Right? I mean, if I did understand it, I'd have to be God. And that's not me. Um, and there's something to be said for being authentic with that. You know, I, I don't pretend like I know everything about God. You know, how can I? Uh, and I, I, I have no problem saying, that's a really great question. I don't know the answer. Uh, but let me try and find out. Um, there's something authentic in that. And I think sometimes we're afraid of, of letting ourselves appear weak in front of others. And yet, uh, by trying to cover that up, uh, we've seen that with, uh, with some, some of our leadership, uh, pretending like they know the answer, and clearly they don't. Um, I think the, the best description I can give uh, is, is from, from my school days of even way back in middle school and high school when you had presentations on on a reading it was never more obvious to us that someone didn't know their reading when they tried to pretend like they did you know they have these big lofty statements and uh, they're trying to say so much and yet not say anything at all uh, and it it becomes so clear in that room to everyone but the person who is trying to, to fake it, uh, what is actually going on. You know, they might think, man, people are just eating this up. They think that I actually did this reading. Everyone else knows that's not true. So being authentic to who you are, um, but, but also remembering that part of who you are is that you are a child of God and that uh, while you may not know everything about God, you know that God so loved the world that he sent his only son, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. If nothing else, you know, remember 
John 3, 16 and 17. Uh, hold on to that truth and try to live that truth out. Uh, so even when it's your enemies that you are frustrated with, uh, that you know you would love to slap back, um, you'd love to, to get even with them. Rather than doing that, Paul is telling us, show them kindness. You know, um, if they're thirsty, give them something to drink. If they're hungry, give them something to eat. Uh, and I think that really gets to a deeper issue, which is that hurt people hurt people, right? So if, if you are feeling incomplete, if you are feeling insecure about yourself, sometimes our, our knee-jerk response is to take that out on others. And so we, we say things we don't really mean. We do things we don't really mean. Uh, we harm others because we ourselves have been harmed. And one of the best ways of ending that is by showing compassion, by not retaliating. And when it is really someone that's just uh, being a jerk because they're a jerk, uh, when we stoop to that level, we lose something. But when we don't, when we are being treated horribly and we respond in, in showing God's love and respect and honor in that moment, you better believe we're heaping coals on that person's head. We are showing just how much God has changed us. That we are not that person. That we don't stoop to that level. And I think especially in this time, uh, as we are mourning the loss of yet another community member. Uh, verse 15, rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. What a great reminder. Uh, we don't have to try and pretend like we're happy uh, in order to cheer others up. We don't have to pretend uh, like nothing is wrong. Acknowledging that pain, sitting with that pain, can be extremely healing. And I think that's something that uh, my time here at Wilderness over these past three years, and hopefully for many years, in the future has been so amazing here is seeing that authenticity in this community when people are hurting they say i'm hurting when people are really happy they say i'm really happy when people have screwed up they say i screwed up and when people don't have the answer they say i don't know i think if anything this time here has shown just how faithful this community is. Not just the people that are in church every Sunday, or uh, now that we're worshiping online, the people that are on the screen every Sunday. Um, but really, all the community members here, uh, there's something so special, so sacred about this community that I feel so fortunate to be serving. Uh, something so wonderful, so uh, so God-led in this community. That when we mourn, we mourn fully. And when we get to that point where we can laugh and rejoice, we do it wholeheartedly. And I think that's just the best calling for for this church, for wilderness, uh, for this community. That is something that uh, even this morning uh, at our global mission team meeting with, with our synod, uh, they asked us, how can we invite folks of your community into our communities to share that, that something that we experience when we join you for worship, that we experience when we come visit you in person when that's safe to do so how can we be a part of that and another way of saying that is can you help us to better show god's love in the world that we experience 
in your midst. Even in the midst of pain and suffering, people feel the presence of God in this community. I feel the presence of God in this community. And for that, I give thanks. Blessings on your week as you laugh, as you mourn, as you question, as, as you comfort. Doing that all, showing God's love, and being authentic in it. Blessings.